Some people call me Ntando, but then at school they call me Blades. <laughs> That's my nickname. <laughs> I was trapped, um, you know, my body was trapped, not to be able to do um, the things that I wanted to be, to become the person that I wanted to be. Hey. hey. How are you? Are you good? How are you? Nice. Do I know Just, you? Please, please, yep, I no. do. Do you know me? Yes. <laughs> At the age of 10, uh, in 2012, I got my first pair of legs. Since then, uh, I've learned to fly and, uh, you know, I've, uh, I've learned to, to, to run and to be myself. Before I got my blades, they used to call me Tan Man because I had my other legs what was not like blades and I could run with it, but the only problem was I couldn't jump and I always fell. When I didn't get my blades, I didn't get to walk to my granny. So when I got the blades, I can walk to my granny. It's a privilege to put your time into, into someone else's life. I think that's, you know, that's the way we should do things and we will have more successful youngsters and more successful South Africans. I think my first race, uh, you know, it started that side. That one was a big one. I think, you know, no one expected it, not even myself. Oh, oh my God. God! It was one of the best experiences that I've, that I've had in my life. I think Tokyo 2020 for me is about creating opportunities for the younger ones that are coming after me and for the ones that are already there but you know their first time and then also you know representing my country and I think that's the most important thing you know not running for myself but running for the country you know that's an honor and you know it's, it's not uh, it's not a thing that anyone can do so yeah I'm, I'm, I'm honored. Yeah.